I went above and beyond. You see, I had given him my all while I showed you respect only to get disrespected. Not even your second, but I became your last resort as he played me like a game and strained me along and I can't even be mad at him. You see, it was me that was wrong. You see, I didn't consider my worth and I overcompensated my time, hoping to make him mine and it only made things worse because I was the only one hurt. Come on, Chris. I went through years. Years of baby mama trauma, and I ain't even got no kids. I put money on his commissary when he did that bill, and all this sticking around, hoping he'd come around to see. And I was down for him. But I realized that you knew. You see, you knew with me that you could have your cake and eat it too. I handicapped you, which lessened your attraction for me, so I became content with allowing you to use me, doing whatever it took to be in your presence. I was in denial, and I tell every lie to keep you close to me. I made commitments to myself to show resentment to everyone else who tried to keep me away from you. See, I was what they call dangerously in love. But I wouldn't hurt you or nobody else. I only had thoughts about hurting myself. Now, that's dangerous, and that ain't love. You see, I like to refer to this love as selfish love because I was in it by myself. I thought that love was a two-way street. He put me out the car, drove over my feet, then dogged me out and lied about how he cared about me. As he kept selling me these dreams that would never come true, I woke up from the dream that revealed to me the real you. The question. The question was posed, but nobody knows what kind of love is this. Although he never physically hit me, I was used, abused, mentally and emotionally scarred. He was the first man to put a hole in my heart. And I tried to keep a special place in his life, but each time I failed. I even tried to move on, but I couldn't because my heart he held and wouldn't let go. But hell, I was the one that kept in contact so he couldn't let go. You see, this love was for real, y'all, but only in my mind while everybody else could see. I pretended to be blind to something so visible that made me so miserable and the question is still posed, but nobody knows. What kind of love is this?